The hurt is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The wall and the day that grow therein. For he have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who hath not lifted up his souls unto vanity? Sworn the sea he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek thee, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be you lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord's Lift up your head, so ye gate. We will lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Lift up your heads, so ye We will lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Give him all the adoration. He is our Lord, he is our God, he is our healer, he is our hope, he is our sustainer. Wherever you are joining me from, lift up your hand and appreciate him. Lift up your hand and give him praise. Lift up your hand and worship him. Let's bless his holy name. Let's say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus, for our life for our home, for our marriage, for our business, for our career. I want you to lift up a hand and bless his holy name. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy endure forever. For our Lord is good. For his mercy endure forever. For our Lord is good. For his mercy endure forever. For our Lord is good. For his mercy endure forever. Why not just lift up a hand and appreciate his holy name? Lift up a hand and bless him. Lift up a hand and appreciate God. The Lord that preserve you, preserve your family. The Lord that allow you to see the beginning of this year, the beginning of this month. And here you are, here am I, the very last day of this month. I want you to lift up a hand and bless his holy name. Lift up a hand and worship him. Say thank you, Jesus. For my life, for my home, for my marriage, for my business, for everything that concerns me. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lift up a hand and celebrate him. Lift up a hand and appreciate him. Many people will enter into this month together, but today they are nowhere to be found. Many people will enter into this month together, the seven months. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Today, the very last day of the month, they don't witness today. Many people we slept together last night, but this morning it's another story. Many people, as you are hearing me right now, their family member are lowering them to the heart beneath. If you are hearing me, if you are hearing me, if you are watching right now, that means you are alive, that means you can see hear me that means you are there that means your life that lord see kept and sustained your life why not just lift up a hand and say thank you jesus why not just lift up a hand i want you to lift up a hand and say for my life for the past 31 days 31 days non-stop the month of july the lord preserve you the lord preserve your home the lord preserve your loved one i want you to just lift up a hand and appreciate the king of kings I appreciate the Lord of Lords. I appreciate the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I appreciate Him. He is the one that is worthy to be praised. Let's celebrate Him. Let's celebrate our Lord, our God. Let's worship His holy name. Let's give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. He is Lord. He is God. He is our Lord. He is our God. 
He is worthy to be praised. 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 I want you to celebrate him. I want you to give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Say thank you, Jesus, for my life. Thank you, Jesus, for my home. Thank you, Jesus, for my family member. Father, I have come to say thank you. I have come to give you praise. For this month, the month of July, Father, I have come to say thank you. I have come to worship you. I have come to celebrate you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. My Lord, my God, I worship you this day. I say thank you for my life. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my family member. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for this ministry. Thank you for every member of this ministry. Thank you for those wonderful testimony. Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for today. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise for another wonderful day, for another moment, for another another wonderful time. My Lord, my God, want to say thank you for this month. Thank you for this ministry. Thank you for this program, Prayer Avalanche. Thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for day three. We say thank you, Lord, for the first ten days. We say thank you for the second ten days. We say thank you for the last ten days. And today, the extra bonus on it, the 31st day, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for those answer prayer. Thank you for the the one we ask that if you answer us, it's going to put us to trouble. Thank you for not answering us. Thank you for granting our request. Even in the one that we do not ask for, that you grant us, Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Lord, for our loved one, our husband, our wife, our children, wherever they are, Lord, we want to say thank you. Because we see your hand in their life. Because we see your work in their life. Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. For this ministry, Pray in Good Network, my Lord, my God, I say thank you. I say thank you for confirming your word on a daily basis. Thank you for not allowing the will, the agenda of the enemy to come to pass over my life, over my family, over every member of this ministry. Thank you for granting people's testimony. To you be all the glory. For this prayer, Avalon, July 2023 20, edition, Father, I want to say thank you. Thank you for those wonderful testimony that go beyond human imagination. Today, the last day of this month, the last day of this program, the anointing for a new song. We have come to receive anointing for a new song, perfection for a new song. My Lord, my God, I ask that today, heavens of anointing, heaven of impartation, we open up on each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, arise in your power, arise in your might, visit each and every one of us. Visit our work, visit our home, visit our marriage, visit our business, visit our career. Let your word come expressly and let it fulfill your will, your mandate in our life. Thank you, mighty Father. Bless be your holy name. Sweet Holy Spirit, I submit myself unto you. Speak through me, walk through me. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, congratulations to every one of us. If you are joining us for the very first time, congratulations. For those of us who have been coming every blessed day, I say congratulations. For you to see the very last day of this month, it's a celebration. So congratulations. Those that are dead, do they have, they have reason, they have vision, they have prayer requests. But the moment a man is there is dead, there's nothing again. There's no request again. There's no prayer again. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to achieve this. I want to achieve that. There's nothing again. There's nothing again. 
So because you are still alive, there is hope for you. Because you are still alive, there is hope for you. And that hope will shall not be cut short in the name of Jesus. I say your hope in our Lord God will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to say a big thank you again to every one of you who are becoming to fellowship with us. May the Lord God bless and increase you greatly in the name of Jesus. To every members who never miss, even when they miss, when they are not able to come online, they see make sure that they go over the video, they go over the audio. I want to say a big thank you. It's a great encouragement. To every one of you who on daily basis you encourage people to come you invite your friend you invite your family you are not saying oh it's a small boy it's a big encouragement i want to say a big thank you to every one of you may god announce your work for good in the name of jesus for those that will need your goods and service may god connect you to those that knows them that will connect you and announce you in the name of jesus joseph did not know the king joseph did not know anything about the king but there was a man in that palace who knew joseph and he knew that the service of joseph will be needed he connect joseph in the prison to the palace those that are coming i don't know them you are the one that knew them and you invite them your goods and your service your your career there is a man somewhere that needed that thing there's a man that must patronize you there's a family that must patronize you and there's somebody who know them and know you that you can do it better there is a man that know that know about your product and your service, and that man knows somebody somewhere who needed that product. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Today, as this prayer avalanche is gradually coming to an end, may God release His angels, and may the angels of the Almighty God, in form of men, may they begin to announce the good work that you are doing in the name of Jesus. For those of you in office, for those of you in office, I said this. And I keep saying it. If you have done a, a particular job for 10 years, you are in a you are in that field for 10 years, for 15 years, you are not an apprentice again. You have been doing something for 10 years, for 15 years. You are not an apprentice. You are not an apprentice. What am I saying? That thing that you are doing in that office, they are company, they are individual that needed that service. As you are working in that office, you can become a consultant in that area. Thank God for internet. You are working there and you'll be doing that same thing, that same service that you render in that office. You'll be rendering it in from your home, without your phone, without your tablet, without your computer. I know a man who works in an organization as uh, one of as accountant. And he knew somebody who works in the uh, in one of the, uh, of these uh, task uh, offices. All his friends that works in other organization, he will collect the task. I don't know how you call it. You know the task uh, filing for the year and everything. And he will do everything, give it to the other one in task office. He will collect his own. He will pay those people. And his own is working, and because he know people in there, and he's also a, um, what do you call them? A shattered uh, taxation. So as he's working there, he's also a consultant. If you have work, I repeat again. If you have work in that organization on that desk in that field for ten years, for fifteen years, you are qualified to be a consultant. How, how are you going to do it? God just needs to connect you to somebody that needs that service. The same way that man, the butler, connected Joseph to the palace. Every one of you online, every one of you that God is using 
to connect this ministry to other people every one of you that god is using to partner with us i decree i declare upon you upon your life upon your marriage upon your business upon your career especially that your career the may the lord god connect you to those that we need that service in the name of jesus may god connect you 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 in the name of jesus a big thank you to every one of you and a big thank you to my family also who allow me to do the work of god right away from my mother to my wife to my children <laughs> if they don't allow me if there's no peace at home i can't come online i'll be smiling because i will be looking left and right left and right so that they don't throw bottles on me <laughs> praise it Allah. amen little will people know when i'm doing recording from home or from the office the background is the same thing everything is the same thing <laughs> amen so if i'm doing that home and they are making noise that's not that we do if i'm doing from home and they are making noise if they are throwing tantrum deliberately they want to wicked me and they just throw bottle to, to, towards my my side they can go and switch off the light oh daddy we are sorry we don't know that you are using me <laughs> praise you the lord i pray for my age mother who is there still praying for me this your old age will not be a crisis for you in the name of jesus you did not bury us your children this the little one that remain you know somebody that is hundred is little that remain the little one that remain i pray for you my mother my first intercessor my first prayer person the little one that remain for you will not be in crisis you will not bury any of your children you will not bury any of your grandchildren your great grandchildren your great great grandchildren up to the five generation that we are right now you will not have you will not know any sorrow over us in the name of jesus and to my wife who is always say mm. <laughs> amen sometimes I say are you not going to kill yourself why not just rest i said i will not rest say okay the only thing i can do is pray for you may god help you praise the lord may the lord god bless you may god increase you your own desire from the lord may god grant it for you in the name of jesus and to all my children who allow me peace to reign children just want to wicked you this is when you are doing recording that they will just scream <laughs> Oh, to all of them that on holiday, all the children are on holiday. May God bless every one of you in the name of Jesus. The sweat and struggle in my life, the sweat and struggle in the life of my father, I did not witness one tenth, one hundred of it. The sweat and struggle in my life, I pray for every one of you, you will not know it. You will not know one tenth, one hundred of it in the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact to all other children. The sweat and struggle in the life of your parents over your life the lord terminate it in the name of jesus a big thank you to every one of us amen today is anointing service we have prayed we have fasted we have shake up we have <laughs> amen so today we are just we are here to just take an uh, anointing service to just anoint ourselves and uh, we go and uh, you know when you are cooking food smoke you burn your hand you do uh -huh. but when it is time when the food is ready you serve the table what do you do you go and wash your hand and you come and sit down uh, we are finished cooking the lord has served the table for us so what remains is for us to wash our hand that is the purpose of the anointing service we are having today we want to wash our hand and sit down and begin to eat praise the lord my mifashola, am I in order? The Lord bless you, man, in the name of Jesus. For today, this is the word of God before we look at uh, the two or three scriptures. No teaching, no prayer. Mm -mm. No teaching, no prayer today. Anointing service, impartation. During impartation, there is no prayer, there is no teaching. Just, <laughs> But this is the word of God for some of us. Some of us. Number one, while I was waiting cry unto the lord god for today this is what he said number one every pending promotion every pending entitlement every every pending benefit shall be released the lord is saying i should tell you those of you that you are waiting for promotion those of you that you have pending enti uh, entitlement 
those of you that you have uh, your benefit are being hold somewhere the lord is saying i should tell you that they shall be released praise see the lord so as the lord god have revealed it i declare i declare as a prophet of the almighty god upon your life every penny promotion receive them in the name of jesus every penny entitlement let it be released in the name of jesus every pending benefit in that work in that business in that your marriage in that family let them be released in the name of jesus number two the lord say i should tell all the parents every one of us that are parents that from today mercy and favor shall be and shall speak for our children every parent in the house mercy and favor shall be and shall speak for our children you did not hear me i don't want to know where your children are i don't want to know what they are doing i don't want to know their position why i believe i believe all the promises that i receive for today but what makes me so much hold on to it this and run with this particular one concerning our children after i wrote it down i was praying i was praying on them one after the other one after the other and when i was praying concerning the children mercy and favor shall be and speak for our children and uh, an sms enter before the sms enter i as i was praying concerning this one the lord brought the image the picture of a particular child of a family online and when i say the person she she bear my name my namesake and i was saying lord this girl this lady wherever she is i use her as point of contact to every other child as you have said let mercy and favor speak for her speak for them and i saw as uh, and as um, a message from her mother and i sent message to to sisali let me say and i saw an alert and i look at it and uh, i send a message to the woman that ma i received this alert and she said she sent me a message that no the money is from that that uh, child it's like tears should roll out of my eyes why i see that it was at that time and everything was just falling about her which confirmed that sincerely all our children wherever they are wherever they are within me and i just said something <laughs> i said when i finish i'm going to use that money i'm going to withdraw and use it to to eat the moment i go online now i'm going to use that money i will buy drink i will buy food and i will sit i will put here put my leg on the table <laughs> amen because it was from she just a small girl and uh, god have elevated her she's no longer a small lady in the name of jesus i repeat again all our children all our children no matter their age no matter where they are no matter what they are doing for a living whatever no matter their age either they are in the school either they are working either they are married anyone any parent here yeah, all your children including my own children wherever they are all over the world as the lord god has said from today the mercy of god the favor of god let it begin to speak for them in the name of jesus let it be upon them let it speak for them let it be upon them let it speak for them let it be upon them let it speak for them let it be upon them let it speak for them in the name of jesus number three number three every let me read it so that we understand every husband every man business is restored it shall pick up back number three every husband every man business is restored it shall speak up back i pray for every man 
in the house that your business is not performing well i pray for every mother's every wife in the house that the business that the factory of your husband is has been stopped has been stopped a pause as the lord god the creator of heaven of art have said it let the business be restored in the name of jesus and i use that man i used men including me i use us as point of contact every wife every woman every business person online you are a business person you have your own business but that business is not performing well i use every man that god have talked about as point of contact either you are a man either you are a woman either you are a boy either you are a girl i decree i declare let your business be restored back in the name of jesus let it be restored let it pick up that business that is dragging that business that is not working well today in the name of jesus let it pick up in the name of jesus let it be restored let it pick up let it be restored 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 in the name of jesus then the last okay and uh, i will come to the last theory the last theory talk about some particular people here hear this the lord is saying i will overturn and overrule i will overturn and overrule concerning your matter concerning your marriage concerning your business concerning your career the lord is saying i should tell you that you overturn and overrule it will overturn and overrule and I want to be sure that I get it right. Overturn, you turn things upside down. Or you, if it's upside down, you turn it up. I have to go on, online and check the difference between overturn and overrule. They are legal terms, they mean different things. Overturn and overrule. In legal terms, they say overturn is to reverse, to nullify a decision. Overturn means to reverse. Or to nullify a decision. Legal people in the house, I believe I'm right. Overturn. There is a decision concerning you. There is a decision concerning your life, your marriage, your business, your career. The Lord is saying, I will overturn them. That means He will reverse and nullify that decision. Every negative decision concerning you. In that business, in that career, in that marriage. Today is Monday now. This week, there is a decision that they have made or there is a decision that they are going to make concerning you. Or there is a decision that hell have made concerning you. The Lord is saying I should tell you that you have gone ahead to reverse it. You have gone ahead to deliver it. I therefore decree and declare every one of you in that situation, in that, in that category, every decision of hell, every decision that did not bring glory to God, every decision that will cause you pain every decision that will bring you shame and reproach every decision that will take you backward if we, if you are the one that have taken that decision you are if we, you are the one that after you have done your permutation and everything you thought that that decision is going to be the best one but god knows that that decision is wrong also people have taken some decision against you against your work against your business against your career hear what the lord god says i should tell you today if you can say a louder amen i will reverse it in the name of jesus i will nullify it when you nullify it means you cancel it today in the name of jesus that decision that will not profit you that decision that will not bring joy to your home the lord nullify it in the name of jesus the lord cancel it 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 in the name of jesus then overrule he said i will overturn and overrule overrule legal in legal time means to reject to reject to invalidate you reject it i don't want this or invalidate it somebody who have some power according to legal uh, term when a lower court make a decision and you are not okay with it you go to another higher court the higher court they can reject and invalidate that decision of the lower court any power any principality any rulers of darkness anyone that is claiming ownership or rulership over your life today if you can say a louder amen that their decision that their rule 
over your life. Heaven reject it in the name of Jesus. See, that, that, that decision has been working. That decision has been working. A sister sent me a message. And precisely, I was just laughing. Because I image keep coming. They keep bringing an image when God was talking about this one. So this, this morning, was, it was my sister was saying, um, uh, don't I have a message from the... <laughs> I say you have <laughs> praise the Lord. That my sister, I use you as point of contact. That my sister that was asking me this morning, don't I have? Uh, don't you have message for me? This is your message. Every satanic rule, every satanic authority that I be speaking, that has been working over your life all these days, all these weeks, all this month, all this year. Today, the Lord overrule it in the name of Jesus. The Lord reject it. The Lord invalidate it in the name of Jesus. From today, that their decision, that their decision over your life, that this is what should be going on. This is what should be happening. Today, you can say a lot of men and every one of you that you are passing through some challenges in life, that you are passing through some things in life, and you know that this one is not from God. This one is not ordinary. This one is satanic. This one is, is an attack from some people. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. You can say loud, I I decree, I declare that there are decisions over your life, that there are decisions over your marriage, that there are decisions over your business, that there are decisions over your career, that satanic decision over your head. Heaven overrule it in the name of Jesus. Heaven overturn it. Heaven overrule it. The Lord reverse it. The Lord reject it. The Lord reverse it. The Lord reject it. The Lord reverse it. The Lord reject it in the name of Jesus. And number next, say, henceforth, I will trouble those that trouble you. Henceforth, I will trouble those that trouble you. Henceforth, I will trouble those that trouble you. I don't know who is that person online. I don't know who is that person. Both left and right, they do not allow you to rest from one trouble. When I say trouble, you understand the meaning of trouble. It's not just a serious trouble or cutting uh, trouble satanic trouble they do not allow you to enjoy life they do not allow you to enjoy your home they do not allow the lord said i should tell you after this prayer avalanche henceforth i will trouble those that trouble you every one of you online right now that you are members of this ministry or you are listening to this message you are listening to this audio or you are online right now you are saying pastor that is it from today, anyone that trouble you again, anyone that trouble your marriage again, anyone that trouble your business again, anyone that trouble your career again, anyone that trouble your husband again, anyone that trouble your wife again, anyone that trouble your children again, anything that concerning you, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, anyone that trouble you, heaven trouble them in the name of Jesus. The Lord trouble them. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord will trouble them. Anyone, after this prayer, after you embark on prayer and fasting, they will leave you for a season and they will come back again. When they come back, you know that this, everything will start, everything will turn upside down again. Anyone that tried it in your life again, I stand as a servant of the Almighty God. And I decree, I declare, for you to know, for you to know that God is still the only one. I didn't say God is still ruling. God is still the only one that control, that rule over the affairs of men. Anyone that trouble you again, the Lord trouble them in the name of Jesus. The Lord trouble them. 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 In the name of Jesus. And uh, two more for today that I receive as we round up for today's uh, prayer avalanche. I will enlarge your course, pray in the Goose Network. I declare, I declare, as the Lord God has said concerning this ministry, I will enlarge your course. May the Lord God enlarge the course of this ministry in the name of Jesus. And every one of you that you are members of this ministry, I decree, I declare, it's not 
the online is not me we are the praying eagles network praying eagles network what is the meaning the bible used eagles to describe um the his own children those that wait upon the lord he shall renew their strength like an eagle so we pick it from there pray so eagles that pray the children of god that pray their network their network what is the meaning the network of children of god that prayed the network of children of god in the place of prayer so when we the eagles of the lord the children of god when we come together in the place of prayer that is network i'm here in lagos now we have some people within nigeria we have some people within this lagos we have some people from outside nigeria right now we have some people outside lagos within nigeria we have some people uh, joining us from outside nigeria right now so from wherever you are we network together through the internet praying eagles network that is the meaning so when god is saying are we are we enlarge the course of praying eagles network so you see that it's not the mean it's not this the office or this uh, logo or the name that he's talking about he's talking about those egos that network together in the place of prayer are you among us are you among us are you among us if you're among us shout hallelujah every one of us that we network together in the place of prayer and we call ourselves praying eagles network the eagles that network together in the place of prayer i decree i declare as the lord god has said it may god and may god enlarge our course in the name of jesus your business your career everything that concerns us may the lord god enlarge it in the name of jesus may god enlarge it 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 in the name of jesus and the last one I don't give my life to Christ because other people give their life to Christ. I don't give my life to Christ because I must give my life to Christ. No. Since when I was in secondary school, I fought it. With prophecy and revelation with everything, I fought it. Give my life to Christ. Going to church, no. <laughs> to Fiaka. But precisely it was after 11 years that I'd be running away from Jesus. 11 years 11 years 11 years i saw a comment on somebody online who know me very well right from secondary school <laughs> she, she won't want me to mention her name but she's there i saw her comment she makes she has i've seen her comment we attend the same secondary school together so she know that yes this boy will try and run from god but nobody nobody can run from god you cannot escape unless he just want to allow you to go after 11 years it was the precisely 11 years that everything that there's no way again that i have to surrender myself nobody preached for me that was the reason to today nobody can said i'm the one that preached for this boy nobody nobody service was going on and another thing was going on entirely and i just stood up and i came out and he said, what is it? I disrupt the service. I said, what is it? I said, I want to give my life to Christ. And uh, the pastor was saying, I was looking at it. We have not made contact call. They have nothing to do with giving life to Christ that you came out. Decision that I have took seven days ago. <laughs> I've accomplished seven every night. I keep crying, I keep weeping. And when I cannot hold it again, I said, okay, tomorrow I will go. <laughs> so the service started and they are doing praise and worship. Make contact call. Let me come out. After praise and worship, the man of God came out. I was preaching. Is that what I'm talking about? I said, Make another call. You are preaching. You want to kill me? I don't want to die. So I just have to. I disrupted the service that day. And the pastor said, I said, Okay, go wait till after the service. After the service, after the teaching, the sermon, we make a call. You come out at that time. And the man there, the pastor that said, Ah, huh? somebody was forced outside. Do you think that it's ordinary that he came out? There's a force that pushed him outside. <laughs> that's the force that make him to break protocol break everything he said no he want to give his life to christ let him give his life to christ now we lead him to christ and after that one service will continue 
the name of that person is that man, past, uh, that pastor that always come to bless me, Pastor Shegu Taiwo. He fought for his head, no. Ah. <laughs> What's the purpose of preaching? When somebody wants to give their life to Christ, we say, uh, no, no, no. And that was how I was led to Christ. And that was how he took over everything about me. Uh, he gave me, he was the one that gave me Bible. I was the one that was saying, No, do it like this, do it like this. You read it, you pray like this, you ask Holy Spirit. May the Lord God bless that man. But I don't just give it our condition. Okay, God, if I do it, what will you do for me? And he said, When you do it, I will do this, I will do this. I said, Okay, on one condition, let me try it. If you do it, I will give my life to Christ. He said, Okay. I said, oh, But for you to, for me to know, go out first announce that you surrender I say, okay <laughs> that's why those who know me i keep telling them i'm not giving my life to christ though. i'm still trying jesus <laughs> i'm still trying jesus almost 20 years now i'm still trying <laughs> and he's doing it praise the lord jesus is sweet jesus is sweet if you follow him what am i saying everything the condition that was on ground if you follow me I will do this and he's doing it so that's why i keep following so that he can continue to do it while i was praying because of the last prophecy that's what i asked a sister yesterday sister was asking why do you ask that question she did not know i received i received a dangerous revelation i was asking and this is it i have some people that I just put together that they pray for us they pray for me before the prayer avalanche i call them our prayer team they pray the a particular day we call come online from different country we come online we pray pray for ourselves pray for this ministry pray for testimony praise the lord and uh, i have some people also that god is using to support us finance it's not it's not an easy task to run online a man of god yesterday said all right i don't envy you you are running gen you are running data 30 days ah <laughs> you are no whoa i said yes sir, because my father owns everything it's not by my doing it's not by my power god is using some people on the ground i want to just come online and talk but god is using some people to do those things and this is what the message for them for those of you whom God is using to pray for me, either I know you or I don't know you. And for those of you whom God is using to partner with us in money, so you know there are two group of people now. Some people partner with us in prayer, some people partner with us with money so that we can run this ministry. And some people partner with the two. Hear what the Lord God is saying, I should tell you. Deuteronomy 8.18 Deuteronomy 8.18 It is the Lord God that gives us power to make wealth. It is the Lord that gives you power to make way. And in Genesis 30, 25 downward, Genesis 30, 25 downward, the Lord gave Jacob power that transferred the weight of his boss, Laban, that transferred it to his hand. When, it was, when the weight was in his hand, he has the children of Laban. I want to live. Will you follow me? And the, and the children of Laban, the wife, his wife, said something. What remain? What remain in our father's house that we wait for? Because they saw it that the weight has been transferred from their father to this man's hand. So if the weight of our father has been transferred to this man's hand, what are we waiting for again? If we wait, that's not again. This man is going with the weight. So it's better we follow you. When we follow you, we follow the weight. Every one of you whom God is using to partner with us, either with prayer either with evangelism, those of you that introduce people, that I say, every partner, my hand shall be feasible all the time in their life, and I will give them power, and wealth shall be transferred. I repeat it again. Every partner, my hand shall be feasible all the time in their life, and I will give them power, and wealth shall be transferred. Deuteronomy 8.18 It is the Lord God that gives power to make wealth. It is the Lord that gives power to make wealth. Every one of you whom one way or the other you are partnered with us I lie not in the Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying my hand shall be feasible all the days, all the time in your life in the name of Jesus. And that business, that career, the power of the Almighty God 
that transfer wealth, generational wealth. You are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's be going, bring out our anointing oil. That's the revelation. That's the prophecy that God gave me early this morning for tonight, for today. Bring out your oil. Today, anointing service, anointing for a new song. Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have hold, to subdue all nations before him. To lose the armor of king, to open before him double doors, so that the gate will not be shut. Fasu, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of, of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of the secret places, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, I am the God of Israel. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. The Lord is saying, Thus said the Lord God to his anointed, to Orelua, to pray in a good network. Who are those people online? To Simisola Akindele, to Olari Waju, Okwe Emi Akito Mide, to Yetunde Fashola, to Simisola, to Yemi Oluwo Obaromi, to Reshe, to Mr. and Mrs. Hassan, and my baby there, US, US, I don't want to miss anybody online. Praise the Lord. The Lord is saying, Whose right hand I have heard by the anointing, talking about the anointing for, and He said, Whose right hand I will heard from today, the anointing you are receiving today is anointing for God to uphold your hand so that your hand will not fall, so that anything you lay your hand upon will begin to prosper. To subdue nation before you, the nation they are talking about the hidden. To subdue nation, to subdue the hidden. Sometimes you see the Bible talk about nations, you talk about hidden. When you see nations, you see the talk about your enemy. He said to subdue nations before you. Today, by the anointing you are receiving today, everything, anything, everything, anything, whosoever it is, whatsoever it is, that stand as enemy in your life, the Lord will subdue them by this anointing in the name of Jesus. He said to lose the amounts of kings. To lose the armors of king, the security, the authority of the noble world, the authorities of power, the authorities of rulers of darkness over your life. He said to lose it. That means whatever the enemy are using as power over your life, the Lord wants to lose it. By this anointing, every authority of the enemy over your life, every authority of the enemy over your marriage, every authority of the enemy over your business, your career, the Lord lose it in the name of Jesus. I believe your anointing is on your hand. As you are saying it, the power is going down. So by the time you begin to anoint it, you are receiving it. If you are there, you are not with her, you are not, you know, just lift up your hand, your right hand. To open before him double doors, double doors, double doors, double doors, the doors of lifting, the doors of promotion, the doors of fruitfulness, the doors of increase, the doors of enlightenment, the doors of healing. What is that door that must open your life for you to sing a new song? He said, to hope to, to open it before you. So that the gates shall not be shut. When you receive this anointing today, and the Lord God open that door for you, hear me, sir, hear me, the door shall not be shut in the name of Jesus. No enemy. My people say no Jupiter. And so no Jupiter will be able to shut your doors of progress in the name of Jesus. First two, I will go before you and make the crooked way straight. Every crooked way in your life, every crooked way in your marriage, every crooked way in your business, every crooked way in your career, as you receive the anointing service today, as you take receive the impartation today, the Lord go ahead of you and every rough road, every rough issue, every unwanted issue, the Lord will make them straight in the name of Jesus. I will break in pieces the gate of bronze. The gate of bronze. Every every ancestral gate, every ancient gate, inherited problem, inherited authority, power, principality, rulers of darkness from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your in-laws' house that limit people. I do not allow people to progress in life. He said, I will do it. I will break it. I'm not going to open it, but I will break it in pieces. Today, every foundational issue that limits your progress, every issue that limited your parent, your father, your mother, today, the Lord break them in the name of Jesus. I'll cut the bars of iron. 
whatever stand as limitation all these years in your life, whatever stand as limita- limitation, whatever stand as obstruction, he said, I will break them. I will cut the bars of iron. Every limitation before you, every obstruction before you, every obstruction before your progress, every obstruction before your wife, your husband, your children. Today, by the receiving of this anointing, the Lord cut it in the name of Jesus. He said, I will give you fasting. I will give you the treasures of darkness. The treasures of darkness. You don't see precious things on the surface ground. You don't see precious things on the... My mother's uh, gold. Ah, Before you get to it, you will sweat it out. Inside the room, inside the wardrobe, inside the this, inside the that, inside the that. We clothe and clothe and... Ah, you, will, you will sweat too before you get it. You said, you pack and pack and when you are offload this, you will be tired. You will leave it and say, ah, I'll kill you that day. I will give you the hidden treasures of darkness. Where do we have petrol? Where do we have gold? You don't find precious thing on the on the on the roadside or on the no, no. But God is saying today by this anointing, by this impartation, the pre- the treasures of darkness that your generation will begin to bless and serve your God. He said, I will give it unto you. Today, no wonder. He said, pay the promotion, pay the entitlement, pay the benefit are released. Today, every treasures of darkness, treasures of generation, generational wealth that your forefather, your, your mother were not able to enjoy by today's anointing, heaven release it upon you in the name of Jesus. And hidden riches of the secret places secret places the hidden riches of the secret places for every family no matter how horrible they are blessing attached to them that 10 generations three gen from between three three generations ago and 10 generations ago they did not enjoy it so say, the hidden riches of secret places i will release them unto you today by this anointing that we are taking the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of the secret places the Lord releasing them unto you in the name of Jesus. Why will God release them unto you? That you may know, that you may know that the God that you serve is the one and the only true living God. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. That shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Revelation 5 verse 9. Revelation 5 verse 9. And they sang a new song. And they sang a new song in the name of Jesus. You are going to sing a new song in the name of Jesus. Without old song, you cannot sing a new song. And they sang a new song. It's supposed to be, and they sang a song. No, it is good. They sang a song. But in Revelation 5, verse 9, the Lord is saying concerning one of us, they sang a not just that they sang a song, they sang a new song, which means there was an old song before. They sang a new song. Not that they sang a song. They sang a song means they are, there was no song before. But the Bible says, and they sang a new song, which means there was an old song that they had been singing before. Song of lamentation. Song of wailing. Song of sickness. Song of uh, barrenness. Song of uh, limitation. That has been your song before. But hear me, sir. Hear me, man. By this anointing, as the Lord God has said, you will sing a new song in the name of Jesus. You cannot be singing a song of lamentation before and you continue to sing it after this anointing. That is not a new song. But because you must sing a new song, which simply means five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, twelve hours ago, twenty-four hours ago, a day ago, to a one week ago, the song of problem, the song of crisis that you have been singing after this anointing, it becomes a taboo in your life. What is that crisis? That have turned to a song in your life. I decree, I declare. By this anointing you are receiving today, you will sing a new song in the name of Jesus. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, to open the seal, because you are slain, and with your blood you purchase for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. Persons from every tribe and language. And people and nation. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. Every seal, 
every seal. There is a satanic seal upon every nation. There is a satanic seal upon every tribe. Oh, when you go to another tribe, they don't allow you to prosper there. No, you cannot come and reign over us there because you are not our tribe. Oh, there is a seal upon language. He is not speaking our language. So we use our language to overturn him, to overrule him, to silence him. Oh, it's not from our nation. He's carrying green passport. That one will use it against him. No, the Bible says, you shall sing a new song after this day. Because Jesus Christ has taken this, this, uh, this scroll and he has opened the seal today by this anointing. Any satanic seal upon your life, any satanic seal upon your marriage, any satanic seal upon your business, any satanic seal upon your career, that do not allow people to accept you. That do not allow people to accept your offer. Any satanic seal that sends you backward. Any satanic seal that limits you. Any satanic seal upon your language. Any barrier language. Any tribe language. Any tribe issue. Today, by the anointing of Holy Ghost that you are receiving. Those seals, I will break them in the name of Jesus. From today. Whatever the enemy have you seen against you, whatever seal of enemy, whatever the enemy have placed upon you, whatever they have placed upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career, today in the name of Jesus, heaven break it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand, lift up your hand, nothing all. Say today, say today, say by the blood of Jesus, say I shall sing a new song. Say today, say I shall sing a new song. Lift up your hand and you are not in all. If you don't have anointing all with you, lift up your hand. Say today, say I receive anointing for a new song. Say I receive anointing to sing a new song. Thank you, mighty Father. As you have declared the class, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I speak to that anointing oil in your hand. Let the power of God flow into it in the name of Jesus. Every impurity there, every impurity there. Every pollution inside it, every contamination there, we I ask, let the fire of God purge it in the name of Jesus. Dedicate that oil in your hand into the Lord God, the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And we consecrate it by the blood of Jesus, that whatever that oil touch in righteousness, it shall be unto the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. First, anoint your hand. This is how we are going to do it because I'm riding up now. You are going to anoint your hand. After you anoint your hand, you anoint your head. Don't anoint your head first. You anoint your hand. When you anoint your hand, you rub your hand. Then after that one, you anoint your head. After you anoint your head, then the next one, you anoint your leg. Your hand, talk about the work of your hand. Anoint it. Your hand will begin to prosper in the name of Jesus. You, after that one, you anoint your head. When you anoint your head, you anoint your glory. Your marital glory, the, the glory of your business, the glory of your career. As you anoint your head, the glory of your life, your marriage, your business, your career shall begin to shine in the name of Jesus. And after that, you anoint your leg. Whatever it is that is holding your leg down, that do not allow you to go or be where you are supposed to be, the Lord will break it in the name of Jesus. Not only that, the Lord will add speed into your leg in the name of Jesus. What is taking others years more to achieve? By the anointing, as you anoint your leg, the Lord, within a couple of hours and days, you will achieve them in the name of Jesus. Then after that one, if you are having any ailment, you are having any issue on your body, you are having any sickness, is that a place that is paying you, anoint that place. Praise the Lord. And after that, if you are in your house, please go around your house, anoint your house. If you are in your office, if you are the owner of that office, anoint everywhere. Anoint the entrance. Praise the Lord. If you are not the owner of the business, you cannot annoy the place, otherwise they will sack you. Praise the Lord. What are you going to do? Anoint your seat there. Are you hearing me? You are the owner of the business, go around and not the place. You have authority over the place. But if you are not the owner of the place, don't go annoy the place. They will sack you. Uh -huh. But that your seat, annoy the seat. Uh -huh. You know where you are sitting right now? Nobody is looking at you. Just take the oil. Just, just, you can rub your hand and use it to touch the floor. Eh, you touch the heart, you touch the, the seat. Your seat in the name of Jesus will not be declared the, the vacant in the name of Jesus. Another one will not take your position in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The only time is permitted for you to leave that seat is for you to be promoted to higher level. Amen. When you anoint the heart there, 
whatever manipulation that is going on in that office, just anoint the heart there, and you will see how God will begin to subdue them in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is how we come to the end of Prayer Avalanche, July 2023 edition. May the name of our Lord our God be glorified in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The next edition of Prayer Avalanche will be November this year by the special grace of God. By the special grace of God, Prayer Avalanche run three times in a year, March, July, November. March, July, November. But before we come November again, by the grace of God, we have our daily prayer time, weekly prayer time, monthly prayer time. By the grace of God, we send prayer outside every blessed day for people to pray. If you are not on our WhatsApp list, it is free. Just send in your WhatsApp number, just ask for daily prayer. We'll be sending it to you by the grace of God every blessed day. We have been doing it now over 10 years. And God is, is doing wonders through that. And by the grace of God, our weekly program, Thursday hours of mercy, 12 noon Nigeria time, Friday communal service, 12 noon Nigeria time, and Friday weekly Fiji, Saturday children prayer meeting, 5 p.m. And uh, the whole family will come together at 8 p.m. to pray. And our online Sunday service, Sunday, every Sunday, 12 noon Nigeria time. Monthly Fiji, the very last day of the month. Today is the last day of the month. We are coming tonight. Praise the Lord. Uh, for that, please, tonight, Fiji will not be broadcasting it on Facebook. Why? A man of God is coming to minister to us on our online church, and there's no way we can bring it, leak it from um, our online church to Facebook. So, please, I'm sorry, we will not be able to broadcast on Facebook tonight, Fiji. So, just come in to our online church. Amen. If you are one million, the church is the church is wide it will contain every one of us so for tonight fiji the last day of this month our monthly fiji join me tonight 11 30 pm just one hour 11 30 to 12 30 one hour on our online church you need the link just send message in the lord bless us in the name of jesus if you have been blessed this day you have been blessed this week you have been blessed for the past 31 days why not just lift up your hand and appreciate god give him all the praise give him all the honor celebrate god god have done something in your life send in your testimony let's rejoice together blessed is the holy name give him thanks give him praise you are there you are saying pastor i've been blessed for the past 31 days or oh, i'll be blessed today first day that i joined i can't just allow it to go like that i want to give a seat amen thanksgiving offering or you want to give a seat to connect or oh you are saying pastor god i've mentioned my case i want to give a seat or a seat to it an offering to it you are welcome in the name of jesus just send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. If you are on Facebook, on the title page there, you will see the the there. Partner with the missionaries, partner with the ministry. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Or just send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. As for the candidate, I keep saying people, if you bring ten million within one week, we will spend it. Not for myself, for the work of God. By the grace of God, two years ago, the Lord blessed this ministry with two plots of land. Amen. The land are there. We have not done anything to it. Amen. So there's no amount of money that you bring that you will not just pim into this work of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you are saying, Pastor, not only for today, but every week, every month, as God bless me, I want to be part. Oh, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. And I know, as the Lord God has promised, that his hand shall be feasible all the time in all our doing as you join those group to partner with us on this assignment the hand of god on daily basis shall be feasible shall be real and the power to make way in the name of jesus shall be released upon you in the name of jesus praise the lord can we lift up our hand and appreciate god for these 31 days that the lord god has blessed us let's bless his holy name let's give him thanks let's give him praise let's worship him let's adore him thank you jesus that person that you have a dream that they, they cut your hair the lord is restoring it in the name of jesus every plan of the enemy to tamper with your glory everyone about it he overrule he overrule and what and overturn that issue in the name of jesus everyone with leg issue with leg pain the lord bring you healing in the name of jesus any one of you on sick bed in the name of jesus any one of you with health issue by the anointing that you are receiving today rise go and be free in the name of jesus thank you mighty father in jesus name i pray praise the lord praise the living jesus thank you god bless us once again my name is ariola or the prayer coordinator of this online ministry 
you need further inquiry i've said something that you want to clarify send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five or something is hitting you up don't bottle it just open up say it out you need to talk to somebody plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five but sir you send a message in i may not reply immediately but just give me 24 hours <laughs> before i used to reply immediately but because the same number and many message so sometimes i may be attending to a particular issue and when i don't finish with that person i don't leave the person i don't leave the issue please sit so when you send a message just give me 12 to 24 hours no matter how within 24 hours to within 12 to 24 hours i promise you i will reply you that love bless us in that name of jesus till we meet again go forth and begin to sing your own new song jesus name praise ye the lord Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus, or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me, sin and Satan has no more power over my life in jesus mighty name it's a new day amen and amen god bless you